Police officers shared a warning with the elderly in the Bemidji community today. The Triad Group, short for the Right Information and Direction, is an alliance between the two sides, and officials had a lot to say to seniors about the threat of scams. A credit card skimmer is a discrete device that can be placed on any kind of scanner. They steal information as cards are swiped, and officers are urging people to be cautious. There's also the matter of phone scams, which have been an issue in Minnesota in the last, last year or so. I have a friend who uh, lost her husband a while ago, and shortly thereafter she received a call from uh, a caller who said they were from the IRS, and the caller told her that she owed taxes, and she was upset and concerned and really stressed out because um, she didn't know the circumstances, and she hadn't really <clears throat> known that, that she owed any money, and she did hang up on them, luckily. One person was, was scared that they were going to get in trouble, so they wired more money. Once they wired that money, they called back and said, well, we found more that you owe because they saw that vulnerability that they sent a little bit. Why not go for some more? So that's that's what they did. And at that time, they said, nope, this isn't right. We're going to disconnect that. So the scams are always going around. Beltrami County Sheriff Phil Hodap got up to speak before the meeting ended. He discussed a plan to use a $2 million grant from the legislature on addressing mental health crisis issues in the area. What our goal was, was to try and develop some kind of a, a crisis center where they could go instead of getting plugged into the criminal justice system, go and get the kind of crisis assessment they needed where they could get their mental health assessed as well as their chemical dependency issues also looked at and start to receive the kind of treatment that they needed. HODAP says the county received a large chunk of the $2 million grant today and should be able to get into several elements of building the crisis center soon. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.